I'm alive, and so is the channel. I've been gone for over a year, I know, but I wanted to make this video announcing that I'm coming back and letting you guys know what's going on, and I'll go ahead and cut straight to the chase for anyone who's wondering. I do plan on doing videos about Star Trek games. We have Star Trek uh, Resurgence and Star Trek Infinite coming out later this week, and Star Trek Online is definitely one of the major Star Trek games that's around right now, but the days where I am playing that game actively and getting into the weeds and making regular content for it are just, they're just over. I've, I've more or less put that game behind me. I'm not saying I'm never going to make any Star Trek Online videos, but they would be like once in a blue moon. It's never going to be my main game again, and I'm probably going to rename the channel. I don't know exactly what yet. Maybe Gauss Trek or Gauss Gaming or something. I don't know. I missed, uh, I missed this. I missed you guys. I missed doing YouTube. I missed all the things that come along with it. Uh, being able to, to have a community with you guys and uh, the process of making the videos and learning all the skills that go along with that. Uh, it was a very fun hobby and I had a lot of big life changes. I got a job. I have a lot less free time than I used to now and uh, I moved. I'm in a completely different place now. You may remember if you watched old videos that there was a bed in the background there. Completely different place so it just was the right time to take a break from the channel, and that break ended up being a year long. If you still like Star Trek Online, that's great. I'm not trying to take that, you know, away from you, but it just can't be my game anymore, my main game anymore. It just, uh, it would all be negative content like it was towards the end. I watched one of Spencer's videos recently, and they're still having problems with the loadouts not working, so, you know, the window is open if they ever manage to become not completely incompetent ass clowns, uh, then, you know, maybe, and there was some real significant changes to the game. I know they banned bots and the dill economy is recovered and stuff, but there would have to be significantly larger changes than that to get me to come back, so... Uh, that's just, for anyone who's just wondering, cut and dry, are you gonna start doing stuff again? The answer is no, not really. So if that's all you care about, then I'm, you know, sorry to see you go, but I'd like to see you guys stick around and uh, feel free to leave a like on this video. <laughs> Hashtag uh, cliche YouTuber stuff. Um, but seriously, talking about the YouTube thing, I don't know exactly uh, what I'm going to do about ads yet. I'm going to have to do a little bit of investigating to see if not running ads would, would hurt um, the engagement would hurt, like, you know, how often people are, sh are shown the video or it's recommended to them, videos going forward in the future, because I don't like ads. You guys don't like ads. Uh, I'm not in the same situation I used to be. I don't need the ad revenue. I'm not likely to be spending as much money anyway. I already have, you know, microphone, camera, and stuff that I bought back then. And uh, the games I'm going to be playing just aren't going to be as expensive as Star Trek Online is. So, uh, I might bring memberships back at just the $1 level just so people can be, you know, invested if they want to and maybe get some community polling and, you know, help guide the direction of the channel and, you know, what video comes next and that kind of stuff. I still have to figure all that out, but, you know, I'm still going to take it very seriously. I'm still going to try and do it in a professional manner, um, continue working on my editing skills, thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it is, it is, at the end of the day, a hobby. I'm not looking to... You know, it's not my job. I have a job that I go to every day uh, from nine to five. So I don't, This I'm not going to try and, you know, make this into some, you know, money thing where I'm asking you to give me money or whatever. Uh, it's just for fun. And if you guys want to be here, then I want to have you here too. And I hope that people who were around before will come back and watch me again and maybe we'll find some new people. So in terms of Star Trek uh, stuff, what do I have planned? Well, there's really two, you know, main things going on here. The first one is a documentary that I want to make. I started working on it. I did a bunch of research on it last year, and I want to go back and finish that up. And this is going to be more of a long-term project. It'll be a little while before that comes out because I need to do more research, and it's just going to take a long time to film and edit and everything. Uh, I have a script that needs to be finished. It's about the very first Star Trek game. In fact, one of the very first video games ever, not the first one, but one of the older ones, it's a game from 1972, and uh, it has direct roots. It, it, there's a direct line going back that it was an influence on those games that eventually became roguelikes, and it has a very roguelike feeling to me. I think it's a very cool game. I think it goes unappreciated. I think there's a lot to say about it, so I'm really looking forward to making that, but that's a, that's a long-term thing. In the short term, I'll play other Star Trek games and cover other Star Trek games, so... 
Uh, Star Trek Infinite's the big one coming out soon. I have a whole other video that I filmed at the same time as this one. You can watch after this or maybe you're coming from it. In the case you don't care about Star Trek Infinite, you don't have to <laughs> see it here. It, I kept it in a separate video. Uh, but that's probably going to be the first one I do videos on because it does come out this Thursday. And I am excited about that. I like 4X games. I like Space 4X games. And I like Star Trek. So if I'm not the target audience for that, then nobody is. I also want to get around to Star Trek uh, Resurgence. And I'd like to know what Star Trek games you want to see as well. Because I had a lot of fun doing the Game Boy game. That was a lot of fun. And we never really got around to like the Genesis games or Super Nintendo or whatever. There's a lot of Star Trek games. And there might be more coming in the future too. So just let me know. What kind of Star Trek gaming related content do you want to see? If all you want to see is more Star Trek online, you can say that too. It's probably not going to be a lot of that, but you know, there might be a video once in a blue moon. So hopefully you've had a good year the last year. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.